East of Eden. Boy, my phone literally just suddenly made a noise the minute I... Anyway, shouldn't check phone whilst doing recording. East of Eden. Um, this is a group who have been, well, kind of hyped. I, I think that a lot of people have been really into them because there's so many great musicians involved in this particular project, this semi-super group. And uh, when they had their debut song, yeah, a lot of people really got behind it. And then they had a couple more songs. I really liked the one where the music video looked a bit like an insurance. Shut up! Um, I really liked the... <laughs> I really like the music video, which looked like an insurance video where they were just kind of walking through the city. Um, and uh, as a result, I kind of was getting the feeling this is a group who've got a fair bit of variation. They started off looking rather gothic and then they went into something a bit different. And I was really enjoying the fact that it was that sort of element of variation in their sound. However, a lot of people have been really hyping this new song that came out a few days ago whilst I was unwell. It's called Crossroads with a funny infinity between. It came out four days ago. Um, yeah, I wasn't very well. I'm <laughs> still recovering from a cough a little bit. And so today we're going to check out Crossroads and see if it's any good. Or at least how good or how it differs from the others. Look, I'm just looking forward to it as always, completely honest on this channel. But East of Eden, you know, it's impressed me that this group's impressed me more than I expected so far. I was kind of thinking, okay, this will just be sort of very good musicians, but will the songs be good? But so far, we've had a couple of songs, very different styles, very interesting, yeah, very well written. So I'm just excited to see where we go next with this. This is Crossroads by East of Eden. Let's go. All right. Wait, is the, is the sound turned up? Oh, there it is. All right. Loving the energy. That's one way to play a bass. The build up is strong with this one. Always got to pay it off, though. Leaning into that little bit of that nice arrangement, that nice violin usage. That extra bit of orchestration in their songs. Is it wrong that the hair colours are quite mesmerising as well? Trying to focus on music. That big resolved chord at the end of the chorus as well. It's kind of like an anime quality to the chorus, right? Yeah, again, I, I've got to be honest, I love, this has got that, it's a rock song, but it's more than just a rock song, you know what I mean? It's got so many elements to it. The orchestration, the slightly anime poppy style chorus, and violin, and guitar. Oh 
I love the serious bass action going on here. Bass guitarist has zero chill in this band. Oh, I love that. That big sort of swell underneath the ending of the song. Great crescendo. Oh, and that's a very anime last note as well. Now, I might not be someone who watches a lot of anime, but even I know anime tropes in music. Apples. Why not? Um, Crossroads. What a interesting... That's not what I expected. I'll be honest. Uh, when a lot of people were hyping this as being like, oh, this is this is the best East of Eden song yet, which I've, I've heard a couple of people say. In a way, I was kind of expecting it to go back to their original more um, slightly, I would say gothic, but, you know, that kind of more... I guess theatrical uh, metal vibe, you know, because when uh, East of Eden first arrived, certainly a lot of the uh, feeling I got from that first song was, okay, we're going into slightly unlucky Morpheus territory. And of course, that's something that has a lot of, there's a big innate fan base for that style of music anyway. You know, people really like that style of Japanese theatrical-esque metal. Um, this for me, though, I, I felt this was, um, this wasn't a very heavy or hard song at all this was very much maintaining that interesting middle ground that east of eden have and I'm, i mean middle ground not in an indecisive or bad way in a very positive way in that they are mixing quite a lot of things together um the the rock elements of this were great because it felt charging but it wasn't overbearing there was lots of room for a really powerful vocal at the front the violin again if you've got an instrument which makes you unique um, doesn't make it the most important instrument, but you must certainly allow that as part of your sound to come through. And again, the violin was beautiful here. It wasn't it wasn't louder than anything else. It just worked into the arrangement, thickened everything else up. You got that sort of beautiful thing where you got the rhythm section with the uh, the drums and the bass underneath, the guitars there, and then the violins just sort of sitting on top, playing around and sort of bouncing off the vocals a lot. So. Um, yeah, this, this was, arrangement-wise, this was really fun. Um, I also felt that the guitar, in a way, the guitar, um, because the bass was so active and moving around a lot, it gave the guitar a lot of room to just sort of do a lot more held notes. So the guitar was able to sort of, if you like, be the thickening uh, sound in the middle. You know, it was the thing that sort of glued everything else together. It was the grout between the bricks. That doesn't sound like a compliment, does it? Anyway... <laughs> Yeah, the guitar was there, sort of like really thickening up the sound. Um, and it, <coughs> it was interesting because it gave a, a, a tonality to the music. But um, it was just a, sort of there to give it a sort of a rocky, a slightly more snarly edge, which was nice. But otherwise, the song itself, just um, all the other parts of the song as well. It, it, yeah, just there was so much going on that worked really well. It felt very effortless, which I'd always say is a great thing for a band like this where there's so many sounds going on at the same time. For it to not sound cluttered, but for it just to sound effortless and energetic and melodically focused was brilliant. Um, uh, the singer's voice is impressing me more and more every time I hear it. So I don't know the names of all the various members, and I'm going to get kicked for not knowing the name of the violinist because she's been in like a million projects. She's on that song with Lonesome Blue. She's in, what was it, Morphonica, I think. She's got her solo stuff. She's been in like a million projects. I don't remember names. I do know, however, I really like her violin playing. I think she's absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, I should start about getting the comments. Who do you prefer, her or Jill? Jill from Unlucky Wolfies. Why am I starting unnecessary competitions? Um, I've got to be honest. Yeah, th this last though, I've heard her do more different types of music, and I I've got to be honest. That, like Jill is a fantastic violinist, but I'm kind of almost more excited when I see this uh, lady because I've seen her do more different types of music. So I'm always very excited when I hear her um, on songs. And um, yeah, she's just adding something really great to this group. You know, she's uh, some of the songs she's like up front, some she's pulling back a bit more, but she's always working her way into a, a good place in the arrangement. But overall, this is just, this was just really good music. Um, again, it was rocky where it needed to be, but it wasn't overbearingly rocky for just for the sake of it, just for the sake of bringing in rock fans. It was, um, it had a slightly anime-esque um, approach to that sort of uh, long melodic style chorus that resolves in a, with a big note at the end. Um, but at the same time, didn't get overly caught in anime tropes. It was layered. It had lots of things going on, but didn't get itself overly cluttered. Is it... Um, to be fair, is it like the greatest song ever? Is it a song I'm gonna to have to come back and listen to a million times over? Maybe not, maybe not, but it was very strong and it maintains this run of like just really fulfilling songs from East of Eden. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed by this group. I'm getting a good kick out of this. I'm really enjoying 
their stuff. Um, they haven't really offered up anything other than just great music so far. Um, I do think that maybe uh, maybe what we need is one song of theirs, which is like their their glorious one that just sticks in your head and makes you want to sing along. I don't think we quite heard one of those songs, which is kind of like the big anthemic one that makes you want to sing along. The uh, the, the one that gets either stuck in your head or the one that everyone wants to shout along at the, uh, the live show. Maybe we're still waiting for that. But early days, all you need to do is establish like you've got a good quality, good sound and a good, good ability to write and deliver songs. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. So if they keep on this, then uh, we, I'm, I'm sure we're just going to get more and more great songs. But uh, I've only heard three songs by them so far. I've, I've heard they've got like four or five out. So uh, let me know what I've been missing. But um, great stuff. Anyway, there you go. Those are my thoughts as always. Get in the comments to tell me what you think. And until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one of these. For now, ciao, ciao.